Welcome back guys, this is Henry1502 Inc. I'm back and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a simple web-based SMS application. Now what that means is basically we're going to code it all online through with PHP on coding.com and hopefully we're going to be able to upload it onto GoDaddy server, which I've already done this, it's, it's good to go. And from that, basically we type in the URL, we, we fill in all of the fields, and we should be able to get a text message on our phone, bam, Samsung Galaxy Note 3, within seconds. It's rapid fast, it's easy, and you don't need tens, twenties, thirties, hundreds of dollars. You don't need all that. And like, subscribe, comment down below. This is Henry1502 Inc. I'm about to blow your mind. Let's go. What you'll need is a text editor. I'm using the ACE editor provided to me by coding.com. I would highly recommend that everybody use that, but you don't have to. You can use Sublime Text, Notepad++, or regular Notepad. Then you'll need a server. A server like Apache, I'm going to be using GoDaddy, but you can also use Namescheap or HostGator, which is probably one of the cheapest around. And last and finally, you're going to need a mobile phone to see whether or not the text messages actually send how they look like. And that's pretty much it. So let's get started. Now, what you'll need are two files. Notice I already have them set up, SMS1 and SMS2.php. The reason why SMS1 is .html is so I can have like the autocomplete function so I don't have to close off each bracket, it will do it for me. SMS1 is really the input page and SMS2 is the data processing that actually sends the SMS out. All right guys, so here is the code that I've come up with. I know I didn't type it out on the screen. I couldn't, a lot of redundant um, words and phrases and tags and I just didn't want to go through all that headache. So I just decided to just copy and paste it, show you guys my code and go over it. So what we have going on here is we're creating a form. We're naming it SMS, which will come in um, into play later. We're going to post it to I guess let me change this to SMS2 which is the next page that we're about to edit and notice that the table width is 400 we have table columns all over the place we have table rows as well and basically we're getting the from attribute let me just show you what it looks like um, on the actual page so this is what it looks like on the actual page from we type in our name Henry the phone number and the cellular service. So singular, Altel, Boost, Verizon, we've got most of them, at least in the United States. So how how does how does our um, code know whether why do we need the carrier? We need the carrier because when you when you're trying to send SMS like 443 or whatever, how do we know where to send it to? So like Phone numbers act as an email of some sort. When we do an email, we have to register with a company like Google or Yahoo or Hotmail, and they'll give. We're allowed to choose a username, and we'll have like the at um, email company's extension at Gmail or at Yahoo.com. So, cell phones and normal numbers work almost the same way. Our usernames are our phone numbers. So 443 blah, 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 can be 443 at message.altel.com. That is Altel's, think of it as domain extension or um, cell phone extension, if you will. Um, so 443 at T-Mobile. So T-Mail, T-M-O, mail.com is T-Mobile's. Sprint, we just do it like that. So it's it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can just do a quick um, Google search about what 
what the actual what the actual addresses are for certain companies and certain carriers um, you should be able to pull up a wiki page but anyway we're going to move on from that notice here that we have message so we have the actual message so all that's really left to do here is hold on let me let me show you let me show you my plan and basically we're going to say hi Henry nothing's going to happen because we haven't processed the data so when we hit submit we get not found well it's not found because we quite on oh I know why it's not found it's not found because we're, we're directing it to a page that we didn't even fill out. But on the flip side, so let's get started working on the actual processing aspect of this. Okay, so now what you're seeing here is code that will process the data that we've gotten from SMS 1 our previous file and what we're basically trying to do is we're trying to set it up in a standard letter form that complies with PHP's mail function if you don't know what that is you can read all about it in our in my descriptions or links but basically what all what the PHP um, mail function is is you have to define the subject you have to define the address you have to define um, the message and sometimes who it's coming from so what I've got going here is I basically since we were working with a form what I've done is from the from is my name to is the phone number carrier is the carrier to that phone number and the message is the actual message that you want to um, convey but when we go, get to this function mail you notice that I have the dot which is the connector that connects um, phrases and numbers and in, uh, in something like JavaScript you would just have a plus sign PHP is a little different so we have this variable too which holds the phone number of the person who we're sending the SMS to dot carrier which is their carrier the subject is basically right here the company name that we want to work with so if you're if you're Google maybe you you would put like Google SMS service that's my that's my company right there from right here it, so it's from blah 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 from I would say from me and the actual message is displayed there and we just put a disclaimer data rates may apply just in case it does for some weird reason so let's let's see how this works out when we upload this if you haven't done so already make sure you sign up with a domain provider and a, a domain and hosting provider you have to choose your domain name and then your hosting company i decided to just go with godaddy but you can also use namecheap or host gator and basically what you want to do is you want to sign up with them upload your file and for go set for godaddy go to file manager and inside of file manager i would recommend um, grouping your files all under one folder so here I have private and public beta that's not obviously what I'm going for um, this is just an example of what you could do I've already have it set up I have the name set up to phone 1 and phone 2 instead of um, SMS 1 and SMS 2 that I use in this tutorial so once you're all ready just go to the URL and we're going to be pretty much good so for my website it would be Corleone phone one phone two and notice that everything looks the same as it would when we go to coding.com because there really is no change unless you have significantly altered the file in any way what you see on coding is the real thing so what we want to do is fill out our name so my name is Henry the phone number and the carrier and let's just say hi this is Henry doing a live YouTube test 
and before we hit send I want you all to see oh, my text messages right here right here you see Nyage is number one good friend so when I hit send it's going to be instant like instant as in about 10 seconds or less so that's pretty that's pretty fast okay so are you ready submit seconds what was that three seconds four seconds fast right here right there new message now we it should be from the subject name so poor leon at this weird number just forget about it you can change i think you can actually change this but i actually preferred it like that so notice in the subject header when we go back here poor leon free sms service and it's from henry which is me this is my message hi this is a you this is Henry doing a live YouTube test and data rates do apply so we've got we've got everything that we need it's all there it's all provided for us it will we are able to do this in less than 10 minutes if you take out me talking it could be like in less than four minutes um, if you already have the code but the code is a little bit redundant but it does work and this is a way of free cheap way to actually send out text messages after text messages you could do mass um, texting chains there are endless possibilities now there are problems how do you figure out the phone number the carrier phone number well that is not discussed in this tutorial but if let's just say that you knew your friends well you could just ask them and be able to just send stuff online without having to touch your phone especially if you don't have unlimited text this could come in handy so add like subscribe comment down below tell me what you thought in the comments below so I could better um, moving forward uh, cater my videos towards you this is Henry 15028 I'm out